Does the beep bother you? Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and today I'm going to talk to you about one photo. That's it. Just one photo and how I got it out of one photo shoot. Stay tuned. Hey YouTubers, um, sometimes, you know, I show a lot of photos and I get into a photo gallery, but today I'm just going to talk about one photo and how the whole photo shoot to me, in my eyes, was worth all the effort to get this one photo. So the story starts with uh, me and Clara, who we've already worked together. You can check, I'll give you a link below down to a video that we did before where Clara, who is a handstand artist, did handstands in downtown Quebec City in the middle of winter. But we really did want to work in the summer months. So uh, Clara and I kept on trying to get together and it wasn't easy. She got injured, her arm hurt a lot and uh, she had to let it heal, but we did finally get together. Now we went out and shot and I had the idea of going near some railway tracks because I did work with Christina a while back and we did work on the railroad tracks and we got some really, really cool results. So I wanted to try that out with Clara doing handstands on the railway track. The, I don't know what it was on that day, the vibe, the time of day. It was roughly around seven o'clock in the middle of summer. So the light was definitely nice. It was nice and soft. It was golden hour a bit, but things just didn't happen. Colors weren't that great. We didn't get a lot of great colors. Most of the shots on the railway track and most of the shots around the beach where we went are not fantastic. I mean, they're good because Clara is just such a great subject. She's a great athlete. She has a great form and she's a beautiful girl. So for that reason, there was a lot of good shots, but there, it's not that shot where you just go, wow, look at that thing. That is such a beautiful shot we just took. Wow, that's great. Uh, so we had gotten oh. about halfway through the photo shoot and I realized, hmm, this is not okay. happening. And uh, we were in a place that I did not know and uh, wasn't very used to shooting it. So what I decided to do was go back to a safe place where I knew I'm I would be able to get some great angles and some good stuff. And it just so happened that the way Quebec is made, it's on a bump. And when the sun sets on the other side of that bump, uh, the side we're on, is, as you can see in this photo right here, is, is, is darker. And you don't get direct light, which gives you nice light, but it doesn't give you direct golden hour light. So I knew there was one spot, this key down the river, while you're living in a van down by the river near the bridge where I could go and take some cool shots and maybe get something that was good uh, now at first when we got there time was running by and it was getting darker and darker however what I found great was that all of a sudden all the magic came together in that shoot in one final blow what happened was where we were on the key, it was dark, but the bridge was still illuminated by a golden hour sun. And so I sort of had the idea. I said, why don't I just try to do some silhouettes because Clara is just so she's got great shape. She's well built. She looks very feminine. Great girl. So why don't we go for a shot where it's just her silhouette? with the bridge in the background, sort of make the bridge the star of the photo as much as the artist. And lo and behold, we got there, we sat down, we took a couple shots and poof, it really did happen. And I really do like the photos we came out with. Now it's all a variation on the same theme, which is handstands, but each photo is just beautiful because of what's happening in the background. I even got some blurry shots and even the blurry shots of Clara look great with the bridge in focus. So, you know, I'll let you guys look at it and tell me what you think.
So the moral of the story, guys, is very, very simple. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes you got to stick with it and you got to realize that not every photo shoot is going to give you absolute amazing results. You might have to work hard. It's not because you're a bad photographer. It's just because you have to learn. It can be the circumstances that are involved in that day. It might be the weather. If you decide to go out and do an impromptu photo shoot, you got to let those mistakes and allow yourself to screw up. It's, it's okay and fine. Have faith because sometimes in these photos, there is something great and you'll find it. And we really did. The light popped up at the end of the tunnel. So the whole photo shoot was for like a couple of shots. That's it. But the couple of shots we did get, I believe, are really spectacular. So you guys, make sure you have faith in yourself and faith in your ability to take great photos and keep that artistic eye. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.